Alright, today I'm going to start up a Mac and it's going to boot into Windows XP. So let's do this. So you can see on this an original Intel iMac, they've got like a, a light behind the plastic because this is the plastic design over here. This one does have two lines down the screen but you don't really notice them in a while. And then you get the blinking console there as you boot into Windows. I think that is, that's a MS-DOS prompt or something at the start. And it does have a DOS-based installer when you boot up. And then now we've, now we've just got XP on this iMac. I should, I mean, you probably can buy a new panel, so I might. When this, when this thing becomes rare. And there we go. That's, that's the startup sound. So like I was saying, um, when this thing becomes rare, I will replace the panel. Because I need to preserve it. Over here we've got Office 95, which I just installed for no reason. I can exit that. And then we've got our games here. So let's um, go to the to the test. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is Quake 3. Let's turn that volume down. All right, we enter single player. Let's play. This one, let's just fight in the easiest difficulty. And I'm just gonna show you. All right, it loads up. I know this was a 90s game and this is a 2006 computer. I think 99 or something. But take a look at it. Um, the frame rate is exceptional, like, if I look around at 60 FPS, walking, absolutely no issues with it. It's basically a gaming PC from the 90s equivalent. It's pretty powerful, actually, this, this iMac here. We've got all these, you can even say in the chat. And the funny thing is, in this game, they actually respond. So let's leave the game. And move on to the specifications um, so you guys know what this Mac is and no I do not care about protecting this from viruses I can just reinstall XP which I'll enjoy anyway I love installing it so we've got our theme here yes okay that doesn't matter I meant to do this. Oops, not registry editor. I meant to do DX Diag in the Windows R menu. Alright, now you can see it's an iMac. It knows it's made by Apple. It knows everything about here. Um, 512 megabytes of RAM on the actual computer um, with, what do you call it? I think it's 512 megs of RAM on the computer when you first on the Mac OS but once you enter Windows it caps it at 480 for some odd reason which is 30 32 uh, megabytes of RAM less lesser than you're supposed to get so yeah that's interesting um, We'll go to display, and it's just, we've got uh, actually 128 megabytes of VRAM, video memory, with a 1440 by 932 bit color, 60 hertz monitor, it's pretty uh, decent, actually, it's even, I would go to say it's Good quality monitor. Uh, 
so yeah then we go over here we can check our drivers let's see what sound card we have we've just got IDT yeah I put it in an ethernet I put an ethernet cable so it, it works and now time to access some of our modern websites that we can get on here despite it being XP and I'll show you this it will be a bit slow though definitely that's to be expected so it, we have a portable version of Firefox I tried Clusilla seems it's more optimized for like Windows 98 and 95 uh, no, not Clusilla, Retrozilla, that's a vintage Mac one. This is the Windows version. Um, and that's more for Windows 9X and maybe even 2000 as a stretch. XP can run this better. So what are we going to go to? Let's go to... Let's go to maybe reddit.com. And while we're doing that, shouldn't open too many tabs with the amount of RAM we have. And there's like a bit of ventilation at the top at the on the back of it but yeah we we are loading up to we are loading up to reddit right now and i'm not signed in but you can see basically the the whole page is loading i'm gonna close the other tab with this much ram of course um let's go to maybe let's try youtube see if that works and we are actually on XP here. So loading times, mm, not the greatest. But it's impressive that it actually can load. And from Reddit, basically the whole page, apart from this trending today. And if we use classic Reddit, it would work fine. But yeah, it's insane that this is working. Like the internet on this is working. We did get a freeze up, but now we're back. Yeah, we've got a bit of an unresponsive script that happens a little bit. Mm. What are you going to do about it? Finally, I know this is very... Yes, I did schoolwork on this computer using Google Docs. And I had a task for that yeah it's buggy I wouldn't recommend this as like a computer that you actually use genuinely to browse the web I mean it does the job just not very well but I love having XP oops okay so we've got an unresponsive script here Finally, yep, google.com. Oh yeah, and I have one upgrade to quickly make to these peripherals. You see we have a razor mouse. We have something else to upgrade. Well, I'm gonna keep this keyboard. I, I do, in this pile of junk, have another razor keyboard. It's not mechanical, but it's RGB. Why is it so blurry? My phone. Is it iPhone for you? Yeah. So that's a keyboard there. And now I've now I've got Google. This is not fake. This is legitimate. Yes, this is real XP in its full glory. Not even a VM. And, and that's just it. That's basically what I, I was going to show you. Yeah.